after 75 or 90 days after the departure of the holy prophets, as prophesied, the holy lady passed away. But before her last breath, she called Imam Ali alayhi salam and desired that none of those, particularly a few ones, who had turned hostile to the house of the Prophet and violated the will of the Apostle of God, should be informed of her departure from this world, and that she should be quietly buried in the darkness of the night. Some reporters say that when the body was lowered into the grave by Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali, in the grave appeared the two hands of the Holy Prophet with a voice addressing him, Come on, Ali, return thou the part of mine to me. It is said that Imam Ali, alayhi salam, shedding tears, responded to the voice saying, I am ashamed of thee, O Apostle of God, for I took Fatima from thee, sound in her body, but I am now returning her unto thee, rib broken. Thus, the Holy Lady was the first of the martyrs among the Ahlul Bayt after the departure of the Holy Prophet. It is now left to the intelligent ones of the readers to judge the possession of those who annoyed this Holy One of God. It is authentically reported that the Holy Lady once referring to her miserable plight and the sorrowful life she had to lead, addressing her father, the Holy Prophet, standing before his grave, saying, O oh, Father, dear, after thee fell on me such miseries that had they fallen on bright days, the bright days would have turned into darkest nights. The Holy Lady of Light left behind two sons and two daughters whose ages at the time of her departing from them were Hassan about eight years, Hussein about seven years, Zainab about six years, Umm Kulthum about five years.